ESPN just dropped its latest WNBA rookie rankings, and it's causing a serious stir. All season long, we've been watching the intense battle between Indiana Fever's Caitlin Clark and Chicago Sky's Angel Reese for that top rookie spot. It's been a back and forth race, but in the latest update, ESPN made a bold move. They've ranked Angel Reese as the number one active rookie, pushing Caitlin Clark to number two. But wait until you hear why Clark's fans are calling foul. In ESPN's updated rankings, Reese has claimed the throne, followed by Clark in second. Lainey Fibich, Camilla Cardoso, Alaya Edwards, Rikia Jackson, and Kate Martin round out the top seven. But having a better season for Caitlin, her fans are crying foul saying she was outright robbed of the number one spot. And honestly, they might be right. Social media is ablaze with reactions. Many believe ESPN is straight up trolling fans because they don't think the race between Clark and Reese is as close as ESPN is making it out to be. If you've been watching these two rookies throughout August, you might be wondering the same thing. How did Reese get the edge over Clark, especially when the eye test tells a different story? Clark's devoted fan base is not having it and they're taking to social media to voice their frustrations. Fans are calling out ESPN for what they see as a major oversight. Some are even questioning if the experts over there are actually watching these games. The backlash is real, and it's all because they believe Caitlin Clark has consistently proven she deserves that top spot. So what's really going on here? Did ESPN get it wrong? ESPN is a very sad excuse for a sports network, wrote one commenter. Caitlin Clark is the only correct answer here, another ex-user commented on ESPN's post. A third fan noted, do your experts even watch these games? My God. Iowa Hawkeyes CBS Sports insider David Eicholt wrote, Angel Reese ranked no. One is so laughable, insulting to the game of basketball. This dissatisfaction is to the point as Clark is far ahead of the stats and winning record than Reese. When it comes to deciding who should be crowned WNBA Rookie of the Year, let's dive deep into the numbers that truly matter. On one hand, we have Angel Reese, a powerhouse forward for the Chicago Sky, and on the other, Caitlin Clark, the dynamic guard for the Indiana Fever. Now, don't get me wrong, Reese is having an incredible season. But when we stack up the numbers and the overall impact, it's hard not to question ESPN's decision. So let's break it down. The scoring debate. Caitlin Clark is averaging 18 points per game, significantly higher than Angel Reese's 13.3 points per game. That's nearly a five-point difference. That's nearly a five-point difference. In a league where every point counts, Clark's ability to light up the scoreboard makes her invaluable. ESPN seems to be overlooking just how critical her scoring is to her team's success. Scoring is what wins games, and Clark has proven that she's a reliable bucket getter, showing the ability to score from all levels on the court. She's more efficient from the field, hitting 41.4% of her shots compared to Reese's 38.4%. When the game is on the line, Clark is the one who can be trusted to deliver. Let's talk assists. Clark is dropping 8.1 dimes per game. That's elite for any player, let alone a rookie. And that's also the best assist per game average in the UNBA. She's the engine of the Indiana Fever, setting up her teammates and creating opportunities out of thin air. Reese, on the other hand, has 1.8 assists per game. Clark is not just leading, but orchestrating the entire team's offense. Her vision and basketball IQ are off the charts, and that's the kind of leadership that can't be overlooked. Rebounding is definitely Angel Reese's strong suit, as she's pulling down an impressive 12.9 rebounds per game compared to Caitlin Clark's 5.7 rebounds per game. But what's surprising is Reese is often grabbing her own misses, which contributes to her impressive rebounding total. But as a guard, Clark isn't expected to lead in rebounding. That's a forward's primary role. Yet she still averages a solid number of boards for her position, showing her ability to contribute across the stat sheet. Clutch Gene When it comes to the most important moments, free throws can make or break games. Caitlin Clark is a clutch performer, shooting a phenomenal 90.1% from the free throw line. Meanwhile, Angel Reese sits at 73.7%, solid, but nowhere near Clark's elite level. In a league where close games are common, having a player who can seal the deal at the line is invaluable. 
Team Impact and Success. Caitlin Clark's Indiana Fever are sitting at 1516, a better record than Reese's Chicago Sky, who are at 1119. Team success is often a reflection of a player's impact, and here, Clark's influence is more apparent. Despite ESPN's ranking, Clark is leading her team to more victories, which should carry significant weight in the Rookie of the Year discussion. The big picture, ESPN's decision to rank Reese over Clark seems to hinge heavily on rebounding, but basketball is about more than just one stat. Clark's scoring, playmaking, and ability to perform under pressure make her the more complete and impactful player. While Reese has the edge in rebounding, Clark's versatility and overall contribution to her team's success give her a strong case for the top spot. In the end, ESPN might be playing it safe with their pick, but when you dig deeper, Caitlin Clark's all-around game, leadership, and ability to deliver in crucial moments make her the true standout rookie. It's time to question the rankings and recognize that Caitlin Clark might just be the real rookie of the year. Behind the back, Clark! Breaking the three that easily or that comfortably. Record that Ryan Howard set. And so Indiana's just really good at this. That's a contested shot, Clark. While Angel Reese is an incredible player with a bright future, Caitlin Clark has proven herself as the more complete and impactful player in her rookie season. The numbers don't lie. Clark's all-around game, leadership, and ability to step up in crucial moments give her the edge. Rookie of the Year? It's got Caitlin Clark's name written all over it. More proof Caitlin Clark is the true favorite. Let's be real. There are plenty of reasons why Caitlin Clark should be at the top of ESPN's rookie rankings. For starters, Clark just bagged the WNBA Player of the Week award for the entire league. So how does ESPN justify ranking her number two among rookies? It's mind-boggling. Sure, Angel Reese has been putting up some monster numbers on the boards, but let's break this down. Clark averaged a scorching 25 points, nine assists, and five rebounds per game last week, all while leading her team to victories. That's not just good, that's MVP-level impact. On the season, Clark is averaging 18 points, 8.1 assists, and 5.7 rebounds per game. She's not just leading all rookies in points, 18 per game, steals, 1.4 per game, and three-pointers made, 2.8 per game, but she's also leading the entire WNBA in assists. Yes, you heard that right, the entire league. Clark isn't just putting up great numbers. She's smashing records left and right. Single game assists. She dropped 19 dimes on July 17th against the Dallas Wings, setting a WNBA record. The first rookie in league history to record a triple-double. That's Clark, too, on July 6th versus the New York Liberty. She's also the first rookie ever to hit 400 points, 100 rebounds, and 150 assists in a season. And let's not forget, she now holds the record for the most three-pointers made by a rookie. The accolades keep piling up, and it's clear. Clark isn't just playing well. She's redefining what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA. While Indiana is on a two-game winning streak, and they've won four out of their last five games, Chicago has lost four straight and is struggling with a 3-7 record in their last 10. Clark is lifting her team, breaking records, and making her teammates better. Meanwhile, Reese might be racking up rebounds, but Clark is the one driving her team's success. She's the leader, the playmaker, the difference maker. Can you really argue against her for Rookie of the Year? Let's talk impact. Clark's 8.5 assists per game translate into at least 17 points for her team, meaning she's directly responsible for around 35 points per game. Compare that to Reese, who, despite her rebounding numbers, just doesn't have the same all-around impact. Indiana has completely turned their season around, and it's no coincidence that it's happening with Clark at the helm. No one is going to want to face them in the playoffs. They're a dark horse, and Clark is the reason why. Here's where it gets even crazier. ESPN just named Caitlin Clark to the All-UNBA second team. Angel Reese? nowhere to be found. So, how does ESPN rank Reese over Clark in the rookie rankings but not even consider her for all WNBA honors? 
It's like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing over there. Caitlin Clark is the real deal, the true rookie of the year. She's a complete player who can do it all. Score, rebound, assist, and defend. Angel Reese is a fantastic player, but when you stack her up against Clark, it's not even close. ESPN got this one wrong, and it's time they fix it. Caitlin Clark deserves the recognition, and it's time for everyone to see that. So what do you think? Is Caitlin Clark the true rookie of the year? Let me know in the comments below.